In this video, we're going to solve the following equation. The square root of x is equal to x minus 2. We are told that this equation has one solution and we need to find it. Okay, this problem seems very simple. And uh, I think the, 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 the way that uh, we solve it is the most important. So we learn how to solve this kind of questions. Okay, I see that if I start the trial and error, and I clearly see that if I plug x uh, equals 4, I'm going to get square root of 4 is 2, which is equal to 4 minus 2, which is 0. So this is the only one, x is 4. Okay, but that's not how we solve. That's not how we solve these kind of questions. We need to do some algebra. So clearly the solution is x is 4, but we want to find it, okay? We can uh, do some graphing, okay? So here, this is the square root of x, and x uh, minus 2, the graph, uh, is this one here, and they will meet at this point here if we call 4. So x is 4. So this is graphically speaking. Okay, so sometimes it's good. Yes, we graph it and we see it because these numbers are very small. Okay, uh, and we will see when we have some large numbers, it's not good to guess and algebra is the only way. So the method that we use to solve a problem is the key uh, in, in, in this problem here. So first, let's say that this equation has a solution if x is greater or equal than 0 because here to have the square root of x defined we need to have x greater or equal than 0 okay so here the 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 the, the most important idea is to get rid of the square root okay to do that we're gonna call we're gonna change the variable here we're gonna let y be the square root of x that means y is gonna be greater or equal than 0 okay and once we do that, we notice that y squared is just x. So we have these two key ideas here. So this is the, the steps of solving this problem. So we let y be the square root of x. And after that, since this is always bigger than 0, then y is greater or equal than 0. And we can square everything. So we get x. We don't get the absolute value because x is positive. And here y squared is x. So this is the key. So here, let's go and plug. So this is my original equation. Square root of x is x minus 2. Now the square root is just y. And x here is uh, y squared. So I have y squared minus 2. So now I'm going to solve this equation with this condition that y is bigger than 0. Once I find the solutions, I'm going to go back and plug them here or to get x. So my goal is to find x. And I know that x is bigger than 0. So many different steps, okay? But first, let's solve for y. One key idea that we're going to use to solve for y is that if we can write it this way, minus y minus 2 is 0. We can use the discriminant, okay? But there is a trick that many people use on the internet. We can divide these two into 1 plus 1. So we have y squared minus 1 minus y minus 1. So we divided these two between this y here and this y squared. Now I'm going to use the identities that I know. This one here, I can use a squared minus b squared is a minus b times a plus b with a is y and 1 is b because 1 squared is 1. Okay. Now I can factor out, I get y minus 1 times y plus 1 minus y plus 1 is 0. So I see that I have this one as a factor. Okay, y plus 1. So I can put it in the front. I'm going to get y plus 1 times y minus 1 minus 1. So this one is coming from here. The minus 1 in front of the y plus 1. Therefore, I have y plus 1 times y minus 2 is 0. This gives me that either, so here from here I get either y is uh, 2 or y is minus 1, minus 1. 
because I solved here. So here I have this one, one plus y plus one is zero or y minus two is zero. When I solve, I get this one here. And when I solve, I get this one here. Therefore, I have y is two or y is minus one. I'm gonna have to reject this one here y is minus one because i know that y has to be bigger than zero so i'm going to reject this one and i will be left with y is two okay so y is two if y is two then what's x so x is two two squared which is four okay so i get x and i need to check one thing is x positive yes x is four does it satisfy the equation yes it does so that means x equals 4 is the solution to this equation okay so we try to do all the steps that we need to manage to get to the solution okay so algebra is the key to solving this kind of questions thank you very much if you see any errors or mistakes please let me know